now on BBC One, original British drama, Dystopia. One twenty-seven pm The Commissioner would be here to better himself at the cost of society but for the last time. 25k minus one X. And in a few minutes, Commissioner Singh would be a dead man. Pretend to be a tourist, blend into plain sight. Draw no attention to yourself and be as discreet as possible. Point blank, a 9mm Luger, 40 degrees into the ribs. Maximizes internal blood loss, minimizes external blood loss. A death quick enough for me to leave, long enough for him to suffer. This is the way of the Hashashin. Ranking officer, and this scum was the commissioner of the Met Police, your highest ranking officer. There are more important things in the world than rankings. If you don't do this, you're out. And what are you going to do in this job climate? Because if you go, your team go. The lot are out. You're not getting anywhere. I took you in as university dropouts. I thought I saw something in you. I thought you were smart enough to leave your morals at home and get on with the job in hand. Obviously, I was wrong. And anyway, how are you going to save anyone? You won't be cleaning up any streets without being a police officer. There's no way you'll be a hero then, is there? Now get out of here. Your team has the details. Get on with the job. London. A huge dystopia. Where on the face of it is all good. But underneath lies the corruption and the repression. It is the rich and the powerful who are the only winners, creating a facade to keep the proletariat happy. However, there is a way forward. Modern terrorists are stupid. Several innocents have less impact than one big individual. Not to mention, it is wrong to kill an innocent. A clean window can be made dirty by a few specks of dirt. But wipe away those and you have a clean window. The same applies to society. The death of an individual can cleanse wider society. Three days after the murder of Commissioner Hardeep Singh and the case has been upgraded. While friends and family attend his funeral, the police are busy. Believing that this was an act of terror and from now on, the case will be dealt with by counter-terrorism command. However, police do not suggest that the public are in any danger. Victim Commissioner Hardeep Singh found dead on Tower Bridge with a gunshot wound to the side of his body, piercing his lung. Likely happened at about 2 in the afternoon. In broad daylight? How could no one have seen that? I will hold the gun. Um, killer, what do you know about him? Nothing. Nothing? No CCTV, witnesses, forensics, ballistics? We found the bullet. There's a 9 minute me. We probably think it was a Glock 19. Small, lightweight, with a silencer. So it makes sense. And that's it. So we have no idea who did this, why it happened, or even how it happened. How the hell does someone assassinate the commissioner of the Metropolitan Police in broad daylight in one of the busiest places in London? Boss, look, what about this? Society's cleansing begins. There are many specks of dirt left on society and they must all be wiped off. The Hashashins will rise again. So he wants to celebrate his victories on a blog. Even the best killers are flaws. But, Hashashin, where have I heard that before? It says here Hashashin is the first organised group of assassins to operate from 1092 to 1265. 
A group of Shia Muslims, they believe that the death of an individual could lead to the save of thousands, that by killing the corrupt society would be cleansed. They believe in killing their victims up close and taunting their name of the victim right before his death. They were skilled assassins. They would kill their victims in the view of the public, but still managed to escape. That explains a lot. Why he did it, how he did it. A lead. Dear Spankhurst, I need you to try and track back the IP from the blog and see if we can get a location. I'll get to work. I need you to find out if there are any groups existing like the Hashashins and find out any more information about the actual Hashashins. Alright. Come on team, let's get to work. Let's find this guy. And when we do find him, I've got something a little bit different planned.